guys welcome back to my channel so a little bit ago my mom called and said that she was picking up mexican food for dinner so i came up with this bright idea to make um margaritas but not just any margaritas i'm gonna make mango spicy mango margaritas and initially i was just doing mango but i decided to add strawberries so this should be really yummy so first i'm gonna start by juicing two limes i do have a citrus juicer but i'm just going to use this handheld one because i don't feel like taking all that out so let's just juice the limes so the thing about these limes is sometimes they be a little dry but these are pretty juicy today so just go in and get all of your lime. And I like pulp. It's going to blend up anyway. A lot of people don't like pulp, but I like the pulp. So just going to squeeze these limes. And I feel like this is a whole workout. Like, OMG. Limes. Oh my God, I'm tired. But I'm going to keep going. The cleanup of the juicer would not have been as bad as this. Like when I'm juicing my lemons, it is nowhere near as hard as this. Okay, I'm kind of over the lime. So we're just gonna pour the lime juice in our little Nutribullet cup. And I'm gonna try to finish them. But good Lord, it's lime. So we have our limes. Our lime juice and next we're gonna go ahead and add the alcohol and the alcohol that this recipe calls for is tequila and triple sec so I'm taking the triple sec it calls for one ounce of triple sec so this is a fourth a cup so I'm just gonna do like an eighth a cup of triple sec And then I'm going to take three ounces of tequila. So that'll probably be like a full one of these and a half. Put a little bit more. So then we're going to do one to two tablespoons of agave. And I want this to be like pretty pretty sweet so because i don't know the mango and strawberry may not be like all that sweet so i just have some plain organic blue agave and i'm gonna add ice to this too so there we have that now i'm gonna grab our mango and strawberries um, I'm actually going to wash the strawberries because I just decided to use them. So I'm going to grab them and let the mango sit in the freezer a little bit more. And then we'll add it. I have like four decent sized strawberries. And wash them really quickly. I am then going to take my knife. And I'm using the same knife that I cut the mango with because... Who got time to be washing all the dishes? Not me. And it's all going in the same place. So I'm just going to take the strawberries, cut them up however you want. And they don't have to be too small because it's going to get blended. And don't be doing too much work because the Nutribullet is going to do it for you. So my strawberries are in. This is about a cup of mango, and the recipe calls for two cups, so that's why I went ahead and used strawberries, because this is about a cup. So I previously chopped this up, peeled it, and chopped this up, so I'm going to go ahead and plop that in here. And because my mango isn't frozen, frozen, definitely going to have to add some ice. I have a little more than a cup of ice, maybe like a cup and a half of ice, 
and we're just going to put it in here so this is everything we have our alcohol our lime our agave our fruit and our ice so now we're gonna blend this baby up and see how it turns out so just make sure it's on tight and let's blend notice the uh ice is fully blended and then i'm just going to taste it really quick before i put it in the freezer so i have a handy dandy straw and i'm just going to taste it to see if i need to add something that's actually really good if anything i don't need any more sugar i'm gonna just add a little bit more lime and i'm gonna put the nutribullet top on it and put it in the freezer until the food gets here and we're ready to drink it while my margarita is chilling in the freezer i'm gonna go ahead and just slice up some garnishes and make our chili salt that's gonna go around the rim of our margarita now that the margaritas are done we're gonna go ahead and work on our garnishes and our glass for the margarita so i have two strawberries and i have a lime it's just two of us so I don't need to prepare too much, but just enough so that our glasses are nice and cute. And to ensure we're getting the full Mexican experience. So I'm just gonna fan this strawberry and it's not difficult at all. Everybody should not fan a strawberry to where it just fans out like that. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. We're just making cute garnishes. And whatever type of margarita you end up making, so you see how I use mango and strawberry, you can use whatever you like. So strawberries, um, blueberries, blackberries probably even, um, raspberries. You can use pineapple, just whatever you like, put in your margarita. Okay, so these are the glasses that I'm using. Your typical margarita glasses. Definitely gonna make us feel like we're sitting in a Mexican restaurant, eating our Mexican food, drinking our margaritas, even though we're not. So I just rinsed them. These haven't been used in a while, so we don't want to dust in our margaritas. So just go ahead and dry your glasses. And next, we're gonna prepare the chili salt that goes around the rim. So the last time I made margaritas, I used sugar. But today, since we're doing a spicy margarita, we're gonna use some chili salt. Okay, so for the chili salt for the rim, you just need some sea salt, and I'm gonna use some Himalayan pink salt um, and some chili powder. So just put some chili powder, not much, because we don't need much. And we're just gonna take the salt and just grind it. So however much you feel like you need is what you gonna have. When I am tired of grinding this salt, we're gonna be done. So, I'm about tired. So, in the bowl we have our chili powder and our salt and we're just gonna mix it up. And so, if any of you have had the fruit, like the mango with the chili powder, this is what we're gonna this is what we're not, we're not making that. We're emulating that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put some agave in the bottom. Tip, typically, you would use simple syrup, but I'm not making a simple syrup, so I'm gonna use what I already have, this agave, and just put it in the bottom. And we're just going to take our glass. It does not fit in this bowl. Oh my God, it's so ghetto. So. 
let's do something else. We're just gonna do a plate that I know is wide enough. So, just put some agave on your plate and we're gonna take our glass and just dip the edges in the agave. So after your edges have been coated with the agave, So I'm gonna transfer this to a plate because I decided to use these big old boxes. So then just take your rim and just roll it. In here. And there we have it. You can see that the rim is nicely coated. So we're just gonna do it with the second one. Same thing, same thing. So boom, you got your two glasses. And we're just gonna give the margaritas a little more time to set and to chill. And then we'll be back and I'll show you how to garnish your margaritas. Okay guys, so my mom is back with the Mexican food. So we can go ahead and get our drink poured and garnish. So, first thing we're gonna do, of course, is grab our margarita that we made. And we're just gonna pour it. There is some frozen bits around the edges, so just mix that in. And we're just gonna pour our margarita into our prepared glass. If you have some um, agave that drips on the sides, just wipe it down with the wet cloth. So we're just gonna pour our margarita. And then, if you want, you can add a shot on top of your margarita, so. There's our shot. And then, we're just gonna take our strawberry and just place it just like if you were at a restaurant. And then we're also going to take our slice of lime and place that as well. And there you have your strawberry mango margarita. So I always like to drink out of a straw. So let me grab a straw and give you my opinion of how it came. So I'm just going to stir it up a little bit. Mmm. It's really good. I can taste the strawberry and the mango. And the point of getting the chili is to drink it like this, so I'll do that too. Mmm. So that chili and salt is really, really good with it. Like, you might say chili powder. It's really good. So I will leave the ingredients along with the instructions down in the description box don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye